Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum friends. Welcome to my YouTube channel Linguistics with Tia. In today's lecture, we will learn systemic functional linguistics. This is the first lecture of this series and I'll upload further videos on systemic functional linguistics in upcoming days. In today's lecture, we learn what is systemic functional linguistics philosophical underpinnings of SFG and systemic functional linguistics as a theoretical framework. So let's move to our first slide to learn all about SFG. And systemic functional linguistics or SFG is also called systemic functional linguistics. It's a linguistic framework. Michael Halliday developed this framework in 1960s. It is called comprehensive theory of language and focuses on understanding how language functions in communication. Function is the most important element, functional grammar. It is also used to analyze and describe the structure and meaning of language in a various context. So friends, systemic functional linguistics are grammar concerned primarily with the functions of language in communication. Likewise, it emphasizes that specific functions of language are expressing meaning, conveying information, negotiating social roles, and interacting with the interactants are the people founding the speech. So, systemic functional is a linguistic framework that analyzes language by examining its function and systemic aspects. SFG is fundamentally functional in nature. It serves the idea that language is a purposeful and plays various function in communication. It views language as a tool for expressing meaning, not just a set of abstract rule or structure. So systemic functional linguistics is all about the function of language or the purpose of language. Language is a reservoir that has lexis, and syntactic structure. These lexes and syntactic structure make an utterance meaningful according to systemic functional grammar. Significant aspects of systemic functional grammar or linguistics are register analysis, systemic analysis and multimodal analysis. Register analysis in systemic functional grammar analyzes language in specific context or register. Register is a type of language associated with particular social situation or activity or whatever you say or communicate by keeping in view the environment or your relationship with the listeners is all about of language using specific linguistic choices depends on the register. By examining the language features, language features are phonology, that is about sounds, morphology, about word structure, syntax, that is syntactic structure or sentence structure, semantics, meanings, and pragmatics, use of language in a context within different registers. In this way, SFG uncovers how language varies according to the communicative context. Second aspect of SFG is systemic analysis. SFG employs a systemic approach to language analysis. It views language as a systemic or a system composed of interconnected choices and options. These choices are made with within syst our system such as lexicogrammar that is the combination of grammar and vocabulary or lexis and phonology sounds of language. Next important aspects of systemic functional linguistics or grammar is multimodal analysis. FG is versatile and it can be applied to various forms of communication including written and spoken language as well as multimodal text that can combine language with other modes such as images, gesture and music. Functional linguistics acknowledges that communication often involves multiple modes including language, image, explores how these modes work together to convey meanings. 
So friends, SFG has been applied in various fields including education, linguistics, discourse analysis, translation studies and language teaching. It's a valuable framework for understanding how language works and how it can be used effectively in different contexts. Friends, without understanding philosophical underpinnings are the roots of systemic functional grammar, you cannot understand what is it actually. Therefore, I have included philosophical underpinnings are the background information for your ease. As I have mentioned earlier, SFG is a linguistic framework that analyzes language by examining its functional and systemic aspect. So, it is rooted in functionalism, systematic theory or system theory, semiotics, linguistic relativity and social context. Let's discuss all of them in our next few slides. Friends, SFG is a linguistic framework that analyzes language by examining its functional and systemic as important theory that provides the basis to this is functionalism. Functionalism is fundamentally functional in nature idea that language serves purpose and plays various functions in communication. Views language as a tool for expressing meaning, not just a set of abstract rule or so functionalism is all about description of the rules of language that how any language is used by its speaker instead of just subscribing what is the rule language. Prescriptive grammar the functional perspective aligns with the idea that language reflects the need and function of its user and it seeks to uncover how language choices are made to achieve communicative goals. G has also draws from systemic theory which considers language as a dynamic and interrelated system of choices and options. Theory views that it treats language as a complex system that functions to create meaning through the inter interaction of various linguistic elements. In SFG, language is analyzed in terms of systems or network of choices, where each linguistic choice is seen as a part of large language system. These choices of language are wording, grammar, and discourse structure. He draws from system theory to provide comprehensive framework for analyzing language. And system theory is general theoretical framework used to study complex system and their components interaction and function. Text of SFG system theory is applied to the analysis of language, talk and learn about interconnected system. This interconnected system is actually the structure of the language. Structure is the combination of choices, legal choices, and clauses. For instance, here I have given here example. She goes for workout every morning, and she went for shopping yesterday. Here the word choice goes, shows the present tense and went past tense. Every morning also shows habit, and yesterday is the day that is the part of history are past one now. Here, linguistic choices are designed to make a complete structure of the sentence according to systemic or system theory. Next one is semiotics. He incorporates principle from semiotics and the study of semiotic is the study of signs and symbols to understand how language represent meaning. It recognizes that language is not just a vehicle for conveying meaning, but is itself a meaning-making system. The semiotic perspective in SFG focuses on the relationship between linguistic signs, those are words, phrases, clauses, as I have already mentioned, and the meaning they represent. It explores how language creates meaning through the interaction of various semiotics resources, like lexical grammar, semantics, and context. So semiotics is all about symbols and signs. Those are used for conveying meaning. And SFG focus on the relationship of these signs. Those are in the form of words and phrases and clauses in order to get complete picture of the meanings to make the language a functional one. 
Linguistic relativity also provides basis to SFG as influenced by the idea of linguistic relativity which suggests that language influences and shapes the way people think and perceive the world. This concept is also known as W hypothesis. Within SFG, linguistic choices are seen as a reflection of cultural and cognitive patterns. It recognizes that different languages may structurally different and linguistic analysis can provide insight into how speakers of particular language view and interact their world around them. Next one is social context. Like linguistic relativity, SFG places strong emphasis on the social context of language use. It considers how language choices are influenced by social factors like power dynamics, social roles, and cultural norms. Perspectives with the view that language is not just a neutral tool but is embedded in social practices and it can be used to reflect or challenge social structure and ideologies. So, the philosophical underpinning of systemic functional grammar encompasses functionalism, system theory, semiotics, linguistic relativity, and a focus on social context of language use. It also seeks to uncover how language functions as a meaning-making system within the broader context of human communication and cognition. Friends, here I have given few resources. You can consult them for learning more about systemic functional grammar. I hope this lecture must be useful and informative for you. So friends, for more Im informative and useful lectures on linguistics, please like, share and subscribe Linguistics with Tia.